With YouTube attacking alternative media, please consider supporting the channel via Patreon for just a dollar per month. Link below. So first things first, we've got uh, Kung Fury. Now, if you've never seen Kung Fury, you are straight up missing out. This this short film uh, that I do think was crowdfunded uh, and everything is just amazing to watch. And I knew that they announced uh, Kung, Fury, or Kung Fury 2 at Comic-Con a couple years ago. And uh, they have honestly one of the best David Hasselhoff songs of all time. You can go look that up. Uh, just go watch it on YouTube. The music video is amazing. And it's uh, it's David Hasselhoff doing what, what the Hoff does best. Total 1980s cheese, excellent effects on the video. And it's better, I think, in some aspects than the movie itself. But we do know there's a sequel coming. Uh, but it turns out now it's Michael Fassbender is going to star in the feature film. And I can only ask myself why. No, I mean, and I mean this legitimately why. Fassbender is a guy you expect to see in like, you know, big budget films like Prometheus or Alien Covenant or the X-Men franchise. Uh, you, you expect to see him very much in, in either indie roles or, or dramatic period pieces. And then he stars in, you know, Assassin's Creed, which fails to connect. And then he also is doing this one, which I'm just like, OK, is he at that point in his career where he simply doesn't care? which is possible. Uh, so it says here that Michael Fassbender is in uh, discussions to star in the feature length sequel to 2015's over the top love letter to 1980s movies, Kung Fury. David Hasselhoff, who appeared in the original short and wrote, wrote the song true survivor for it will also be returning. That is fantastic. And seriously, go look up true survivor right now. Pause this video, go watch it, come back. It's that good. Um, and the short directors uh, and the lead actor, David Sandberg, uh, uh, is also going to be involved. Now, develop under Sandberg's Laser Unicorn production studio, Kung Fury 2, uh, the movie, <laughs> will also be produced by Fassbender, according to The Hollywood Reporter. With Hasselhoff returning, it's likely, th uh, though currently unconfirmed, that the famous 1980s musician and television star will perform a new song for the movie. The sequel is expected to begin filming this summer in both the United States and in Europe. In addition, David Katzenberg, Seth Graham Smith, Aaron Schmidt, Philip West Westgren, Connor uh, McConnon, whatever, and Pell Strandberg are also set to pre pre be producers on the project. So Fassbender coming in as a producer, obviously, is part of his deal, um, probably because he liked the short film. I'm going to assume and he wanted to come on board or they wanted to approach him about it. And that's what he wanted. He just wanted that credit, whether or not it's actually going to amount to anything. Who, who knows? Um, and then you've got, uh, David Katzenberg, uh, as a big name, Seth Graham Smith, who, you know, did, um, uh, what was that? Abraham Lincoln, vampires hunter and a few other things, you know, him being on board as a producer is, is one thing him writing anything run away. If Seth Graham Smith's name is attached to any movie in terms of script form run away. I'm so glad this guy left the flash movie. I just, he's just got, he wrote the screenplay for Abraham Lincoln, vampire hunter, which was bad. Uh, he wrote the screenplay for, uh, what was that, Dark Shadows, that Tim Burton movie. That was bad. Uh, the dudes, no, not very good. Now, the original film uh, concerned itself with the exploits of Kung Fury, an elite thunder cop who lost his buddy just before his retirement, gaining mastery of martial arts during the tragic incident. When assigned a new partner, Triceracop, Fury expressed a desire to work alone, but when none other than Adolf Hitler, dubbed the Kung Fuhrer, shows up in 1985, Fury realized that he had to team up with his new partner and the likes of other quirky sidekicks like Hacker Man and Bar 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 Barba Brianna. To, <laughs> to realize there's nothing more radical than teamwork. Considering the film was made on a budget of just over 633000 the short is quite visually impressive. It should prove interesting to see what the sequel will look like with even bigger finances behind it. Now, it's also on Netflix. I think I think it's still on Netflix, and that would be something to go check out, too. You can also watch it on YouTube, um, but Netflix really wanted to get it on there. And obviously, you know, with the whole point being that they, they shot the movie, and then they got David Hasselhoff with the money, uh, that they had raised to do an original song as well as an original music video. And it was really, really, really well done. Um, even though Adolf Hitler shows up, he was played by Yorma Tacone from Lonely Island fame. Also, if you happen to have ever seen 2009's Land of the Lost, he was Chaka, um, a role that I think he actually really doesn't like the fact that he was in. But every once in a while, I like to give him crap on Twitter that he <laughs> remind him that he was in that movie. I love it, but that's just kind of the way it is. This is a movie that, to me, it feels like it was birthed from the internet. 
And in, in, in many ways it was, it was a short film that was kickstarted, put out there, uh, really did well. People really, really, really like it, but I'm a little bit concerned about seeing a feature length 90 minute sequel. The 30 minute short film was fun, but it also felt like it was trying a little bit too hard to fill the gaps. Now that could just be how they wrote it. Cause it was more of a proof of concept that they raised you know, almost two thirds of a million dollars for it feels like, and, and everything else. So I'm not too sure what the story is going to be. If, if Kung Fury two, the movie is just a feature length retelling of Kung Fury one, which I guess you could say in eighties in fashion, that's kind of what it feels like it would be right. It would definitely be the, uh, the, the, this kind of a retelling of the movie that could be kind of funny, just ex really expand it out. Uh, and have a lot more, you know, a lot more effects and, and everything else. So definitely looking forward to Kung Fury 2. Uh, hopefully we'll get it next year. Hopefully we'll get something. If they're shooting it this summer, we should get a teaser or a full trailer by the end of the year. And uh, I'm, I'm excited, especially if we get a new David Hasselhoff song, or at least if I get to go to the theaters and I get to hear True Survivor coming in, you know, from the sound system in a theater, that would be pretty damn awesome.